This is uh, Craig Phelps, the owner of Quality Water Treatment, qualitywatertreatment.com, also known as Craig the Water Guy. Uh, thank you for visiting us today. I want to go over our upflow carbon filters with you, as well along with our backwashing carbon filters, to give you a general idea of uh, what is what to help you make a better decision for you and your family today. Uh, Quality Water Treatment has been in business since 1990, and we're family owned and operated. We sell nothing but the best high quality equipment available on the market today at affordable prices, as well as offer the best technical support uh, before and after the sale. So let's go over our systems here real quick. Our first system is our soft throw upflow carbon filter for city water only. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click on that and go over that with you real quick. Uh, so this system here, uh, like I said, it's upflow, so city water only. There's no backwashing on this system required, as well as no electricity. That means no uh, electrical outlets to worry about and, and no wastewater. The water flows down through the inside the tank here through the distributor tube. There's a gravel underbed here at the bottom. It goes up through that and pushes upward through the carb and lifts it up as you use water. Now we have two different sizes and two different uh, options here. Uh, we have the one to three bathroom, which is a one cubic foot system. It's a nine by 48 tank with one cubic foot of uh, carbon in it with the appropriate amount of bedding gravel at the bottom. The carbon that we use is a catalytic carbon uh, on the basic model. And then we have the uh, up to the four to six bathrooms for higher flow rates. It's a 1.5 cubic foot. So it's a 10 inch by 54 inch tank with the appropriate amount of bedding gravel and 1.5 cubic foot of catalytic carbon. Now, the reason why we use catalytic carbon, uh, the majority of the carbon filters you see out there these days are coconut-based carbon or regular GAC, granulated activated carbon. The, the reason why we use the upgraded catalytic carbon on our carbon filters is because a lot of municipal supply, uh, also known as city water, is switching from using chlorine to chloramines to disinfect your water these days. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's better for them as far as their maintenance and upkeep and cost. So they go ahead and they switch to that, which is an ammonia and chlorine base. It's a lot harder to remove, and unfortunately, it's actually very corrosive to any sort of metal pipes that it, it comes in contact with over the period of years. It can actually create pit holes in them. And so if you use a standard carbon out there, it will remove the chloramines as well as the chlorine, but it will only remove chloramines at lower flow rates. Um, so we went with the Centaur because the Centaur carbon will remove chlorine, of course, but it also removes chloramine at higher flow rates. And it, it lasts a lot longer as well, twice as long as your standard carbons before you have to replace the carbon inside the tank here. Okay. Um, these systems will not just remove chlorine and chloramines from the water, along with triethylene gases created by overchlorinated, which is a pretty common occurrence, but they also remove a high amount of pesticides, herbicides, petroleum products, and the uh, now well-known uh, uh, possible pharmaceutical products that can work their way into your water over over the years uh, a lot of city water these days uh, they use recycled sewer water uh, and they turn it into municipal supply water uh, they can only filter out so much stuff and they do a pretty good job of it but uh, pharmaceutical products is not one of those things they can filter out so this carbon filter will protect you and your family uh, throughout the whole home and uh, it's very important to make sure that uh, you get this system inside your home to, to protect not just your family, but to protect the plumbing of your home over the years. The next system is our Elite. Now, our Elite system also comes in those two different sizes. We also use the catalytic carbon removes everything I just told you about that the basic removes. But we've also added an additional uh, carbon to the catalytic carbon called bone char. Now, bone char is used to remove fluoride from the water. A lot of municipal supplies have started adding fluoride to our water. If you read up on fluoride, you'll find that having fluoride in your water is not healthy for you. Uh, there's a lot of things that uh, are attached to uh, fluoride that uh, have been proven to cause health issues. So the bone char carbon will remove the fluoride from the water. Uh, 
And that's our elite system. Again, very important to have if you want the best carbon filter out there for city water to uh, for your whole house. Our SawPro Elite upflow carbon filter is the best of the best. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to the next system. Uh, this is also for city water. This is a dual tank system using our catalytic carbon. And we put this system together to remove uh, benzenes from the water. Uh, after the fires in Northern California, Santa Rosa, Sonoma County, as well as uh, Paradise area, and some areas of Southern California, they were finding benzene in the municipal supply water that was above the maximum contaminated level, the MCL. So we put this system together. Uh, the reason why we use two tanks is because the flow rate removal of benzene is very minimal. So we want to go with a dual tank system to get you a flow rate up to uh, three to five gallons per minute for benzene removal for the whole house. So that's what this system is for. It also comes with quick connect hoses to hook the systems up to your plumbing and tie them in, in between each other to give you an easy install, which you can also purchase on our website separately for, for this system as well for our upflow carbon filter. Uh, the next system is more for uh, smaller applications, really small homes, one bathroom, uh, as well as RVs, uh, stuff like that. And it's just basically a cartridge filter. It comes with the housing, it comes with the carbon filter and, and the wrench to remove the housing to replace the carbon cartridge when needed. The carbon cartridge usually lasts three to six months before it needs to be replaced, depending on the application of you know, like how much water you use on a regular basis and how bad the water actually is. So uh, it does cost a lot more to maintain this system over this system just because you're constantly replacing these, where typically you're going every five to eight years before you have to replace the carbon inside the, the upflow carbon filters, okay? That, that included the fact that you get a lot higher flow rates. This is, like I said, very small applications, RVs, stuff like that. The next system is for well water applications. You could use it on city water if you'd like, but it's really not necessary because city water doesn't have what we call a lot of sticks and bricks in it. It's fairly clean as far as all that stuff goes. But when you're on private well water, you need to be able to backwash anything that comes into and out, such as iron, sediment, stuff like that. Now, what we've done with this, this is a one-edge programmable digital meter valve, uh, and you program it to backwash as needed. Typical is every four days. It's usually a manufacturer recommendation on any sort of media-type filter just to keep the media lifted up and keep it clean. Uh, we use a catalytic carbon on this as well. Uh, so it does remove uh, you know, all the contaminants I mentioned before, such as pesticides, herbicides, petroleum products, pharmaceutical products, heavy metals such as lead, copper, zinc, cadmium, stuff like that. Uh, and it also helps remove up to three parts per million sulfur, that rotten egg, sticky odor that you get in the cold water. Uh, and uh, it also, uh, uh, does a really good job with removing uh, small amounts of iron without getting fouled out. Your other carbons out there, like your standard granulated activated carbons and coconut-based carbons, iron will foul them out. They will throw off their own rotten egg iron. Uh, catalytic carbon, you do not have that problem. The iron is not going to foul out the carbon. So those are all your choices. Uh, click on any one of these links to get more information. If you have any questions, you can give us a call at the number above, the 866-278-4130, or use our contact page and shoot us an email, or use the live chat on our website. Thank you for visiting us today. We really appreciate you, and have a great day.